weather. We're going to start space. with space weather. Uh, we are under a geomagnetic storm alert both today and tomorrow. So what has happened? Well, a coronal mass ejection or basically the sun burped at us. That's the way I like to describe that. You can see here uh, waves of uh, energy coming off of the sun toward the earth. So that happened and was measurable today by an instrument one million miles away from earth. The biggest impact will be the aurora, which will be visible at lower latitudes than usual. Here in San Antonio and in the hill country, the aurora may be visible through cameras, either on your phone or other kinds of cameras. The, the tech equipment in there is more sensitive than our eyes. But there are a few things that this really depends on. First of all, we have to see continuing solar activity throughout the day today. And it also depends on cloud cover. Tonight, there is a chance for some clouds out there, uh, especially if we do get an isolated storm or two. So it really depends on that. We'll keep you posted. The other thing to keep in mind is that there's a small, slight tech impact to uh, GPS and satellite interruptions. You'll remember that last year, both in May and in October, we were actually able to observe the aurora from San Antonio in the hill country. The May storm was stronger than the October storm. And so this is something that we'll keep in mind. There were not major tech impacts at that point. So I, again, I really don't anticipate that. Uh, we will keep you posted on the geomagnetic storm alert. If you'd like to learn more, you can scan that QR code. I literally just wrote an article about it on ksat.com. That'll take you to the article and you'll be able to read more in depth about that. As for